I don't know what happened. I'm supposed to take her to the fireflies and walk away. Sweet Jesus. Doctor! What are you doing? I won't let you take her. Hello. I tried to play The Last of Us Part 2 and the game was absolutely unplayable. When I recorded everything, I didn't realize my camera and my microphone has noise cancelling and it didn't capture the actual noise. When playing it, I couldn't even hear any game sounds due to fan noise. And even though the camera using noise cancelling could record in-game sounds, if you're here, you probably believe me when I'm saying I couldn't hear anything but the fan. So in this video I'm gonna clean the PS4 Pro and this will be a deep cleaning, completely disassembling it and also replacing the thermal paste. I start by pulling the top corners from left and right of the console. If this was never opened before it needs some power but don't worry, it doesn't break. Now I slide the cover to the back. Here is the Torx TR8 security screw laying behind the seal. My PS4 Pro was opened before, so there's no seal sticker. You can remove it no matter how, but consider the fact you lose warranty. This is a Philips screw and this is the Torx TR8, so I remove both of them. Now, the same as I did on the top cover, I pull both corners to remove the bottom. Here are these two screws and therefore removing the power supply. On the top there are four more screws. I pull the power supply, but gently, because it's connected to the motherboard and before completely removing it, there's one more cable. This is the cable I'm talking about. Now I'm removing all these ribbon cables one by one. For removing the metal plate, there are some Philips screws and some Torx screws. I'll remove all of them.
Oops, I forgot one screw. I'm making sure all thermal pads are intact and now I can remove these two Phillips screws. And now I can remove the motherboard. This is the CPU, I'll replace the thermal paste later. Now here are two more Phillips screws for completely removing the last metal plate. I recommend to keep your screws organized so it will be easier for the assembly. And here is the cooler radiator, looking at it, everything makes sense. It was natural to make that noise if the airflow was not working properly. And now for a better cleaning I'm removing the cooler fan. Here are another two Phillips screws. The fan itself is not that dusty, but I'll make it as new as possible. With the coffin wool pad, I take all the dust I can. I'm also cleaning the old thermal paste, so I can add the new one. Here I have to be gentle and careful because I don't want to do any damage on these small chips. It's almost impossible to remove all the dust without a vacuum cleaner. I add the new thermal paste and now I can start the assembly process. Firstly the cooler fan and its two flip screws. Two flip screws for keeping the metal plate in its place. Here I'm making sure no thermal pad is lost. This is the cable for the cooler fan. 
When putting the last metal plate, I have to make sure no ribbon or cable is stuck under it, otherwise later I'll have to reopen it. Now I fasten all Torx T8 and Phillips screws, excepting the two Torx screws which are for the power supply. It's quite easy to distinguish them, the Torx screws are much thicker than Phillips screws. I reconnect all ribbon cables. Now it's time to reconnect the power supply, firstly the cable, then I simply push it in its place. There are 4 T8 screws, 2 long screws and 2 of them are short. Those are the last T8 screws for holding the power supply. I put the hard disk and its screw. I slide the bottom cover and now the last security screw. The top cover needs no screw, just slide it from the back to the front and push on both corners. This is it, now my PS4 Pro is like new and all games are running perfectly in silence. Thanks for watching.